Hey everyone, we are back for another Geeks and Barbells podcast where we discuss creativity, the joys of life, and skinny dipping. Except for that last part. We'll ignore that last part. But I actually wanted to talk about something pretty serious. And it is a another book talk, really. Uh, although, instead of talking about fantasy as I usually do, I wanted to focus on a book by Gavin Becker called The Gift of Fear. And for anyone who has not read this book, I actually think it may be one of the most important books everybody should read. I think actually we should get it at least in our teens. Uh, it's, it's really, really important for women, uh, but men as well. And the, the primary focus of the book, The Gift of Fear, is actually intuition. It is Gavin DeBecker, who is a security uh, firm expert. He, he does a lot of work with all sorts of police agencies in the United States, military, with celebrities, with normal folk who just deal with a whole swath of issues. You're talking about stalking, you're talking about violence, everything basically encompasses the entire sphere of, we will say, unfortunate events that happen in the interactions between folks. And he gives tons of examples, obviously, of people who, uh, you know, work shootings, school shootings, uh, stalking cases, rape cases, violence, work-related incidents, all sorts of different things. And he, what he's really trying to focus on is trying to make people understand that we have this innate intuition, this animal, the lizard brain that's there constantly warning us and, and interpreting things about other people that we don't consciously recognize. And giving, trying to, to, to tell us, like, you know, this person's not right, this situation's not right, this scenario's not right. And many times because of how we're raised, uh, the way culture kind of explains things to us, is we, we kind of push those things away, especially for women, unfortunately, who tend to be the victims of pretty bad stuff more often. Uh, especially when you're talking about, you know, violence between spouses, partners, friends, that kind of stuff, and of course, rape. Um, but just in general, just even for employers, employees, uh, it's super important to just recognize those signs. And that's really what he's trying to say. He's basically saying we have this intuition, but we're not listening to it. So here is all the information we have. This is what intuition is trying to tell us. Let me explain all these symptoms of human psychology uh, when it's, it's going down the drain and really try to just make you get this is going to happen, this is happening all the time, and the varying degrees of like the severity of a, um, a criminal act can actually be controlled and kind of intuited many times way, way, way before. And he gives tons of examples of how many people actually get really kind of clear cut in your face, like employees saying, I'm going to kill you if you fire me. And they say this multiple times and they've already like, uh, uh, assaulted people before and then people still keep them around at work and all these examples of people who just completely ignore the signs of these kinds of uh, altercations that are going to come and it's really unfortunate because obviously we have these these huge violent issues uh, and especially in a country like the United States with 300 million people you're going to have it a lot more I'm from Canada it's a bit smaller but obviously these problems still exist within my country and they exist all across the world to varying degrees depending on population size context where you where you're from the kind of job scenario you have but especially for women this is super important why I'm talking about it because I, I don't want to do a review or something like that I kind of want to talk about it from the lens of what reading this book, this is the second time I read it. I, I'd read it many, many years ago. I had it on my bookshelf and I kind of forgot about it for a while. And now rereading it again, it, it's really helped flesh out some ideas and thoughts that I've had in regards to the internet and what happens when people interact and communicate online and i think that's super important for for the geeks out there for the people who are gaming a lot for the people who are interacting on on youtube on social media which i mean it creates a whole nother level of issues because the internet allows something that face-to-face -face interactions do not allow which is anonymity which means people can really kind of verbally mess you up 
and you never even know who they are. And then, of course, for people who are much more dangerous, the internet allows a gateway into our life. Many people, you know, they put their full names out there, especially for people, you know, like me who are making YouTube videos. We're kind of opening ourselves up to this kind of scrutiny from complete strangers around the world who can sometimes, especially if they have the skills, you know, find out where you live, find out all sorts of information and just try to mess with you in so many ways. And I think how Gavin De Becker explains human psychology and how he explains how the interactions we have with people can go from just an annoyance to, oh my God, this person might kill me or harm me or harm people I know. Uh, it's really, really important to know if you are going to have a presence online. If you are going to have a YouTube account, if you're gonna have a social media account, and again, especially if you are a woman and you are sharing photos of yourself or videos, that there's public knowledge of who you are, this is extremely important to know. And of course you can always, I mean, if you're popular enough and you have the money, you can always hire people who are more experts at this, but it is really important to understand uh, not only that these scenarios exist and how they can be amplified by our just unknowing kind of screwing the scenario up even more by how we react or how we even allow something to even begin. Uh, and I, I think it, it, it's super important online because I see a lot of people these days online just arguing like crazy, especially in games. Game, the gaming world can be so, I don't think it has anything to do with toxic masculinity. I think it has to do with anonymity. I think it has to do with there being a lot of youth in gaming. And I think it has to do with the fact that many, many people who spend a lot of time gaming or online in general tend to kind of start losing aspects of empathy. They don't know how to communicate properly because they're not face to face with people. They're just spending way too much time alone. Uh, some people might say that, especially if you're playing very violent video games, that's going to affect you. I do think that's to a degree, but in general, a violent video game will only affect someone who is themselves in a bad scenario in their household or just environment overall. And the violent games are just a something that might amplify it a little bit. But in general, I, I don't actually believe that someone's just going to be completely happy in their life, play a bunch of violent video games, and all of a sudden go on a killing spree. It's just no, no. Because if you have a good environment, you have people who are explaining to you about violence and you are happy in your life or just overall have a good well-being, a game is not going to make you go kill people. It's just, you recognize that it is a game and it is not reality. Uh, but many people, because of now our communication online, we kind of lose sight of those things. I think you see this a lot with trolls. You see people who just, I, I, I sometimes, you know, I'll be, uh, I'll watch a YouTube video, I'll scroll down. For some reason, we all feel this need to see what people are, are saying, complete strangers. For I don't know why we have this urge, but we'll scroll down and, you know, we see some people, someone says something rude, uh, which again is a sign when someone just suddenly decides to leave a really negative comment, especially if there's a vulgarity or just they're, they're just being violent or whatever it is. Well, those people have issues. People don't want to hear that, but that's the simple fact. You, you, as a person, if you were the kind of person who was leaving those kinds of comments on the video of someone or saying that to complete strangers in a game, you need to take a step back and reevaluate what is wrong? What, what's bothering you so much that you're willing to start speaking that way and saying these things to most times complete and utter strangers? And then there's of course the unfortunate case of people who go and reply to those people. And then confrontations happen online that sometimes that, that can degrade into really bad situations that not, don't necessarily always have to go into, we'll say, the physical reality, like that person's not going to come and punch you in the face or shoot you, but they can mess up your online life pretty badly. So I, I've seen sometimes people leaving commentary, even harmless commentary, and I find myself like being drawn in. I want to respond because I'm like, this is so ridiculous, or that's this, that. And every single time I've been lucky enough to pull myself back. Okay? I've never left uh, any comments online in a negative fashion. I think I've maybe left five or six comments my entire life and they were always very succinct, just like, great work, hope you do more, that kind of thing. When I didn't like something that someone did, uh, especially if it was a, a political thing, I just took a step back and I just tell myself, there is absolutely no beneficial, uh, 
nothing beneficial that can happen if I leave a negative comment. All that will happen is either that person who made the video or or some random stranger will what comment back and then I'm gonna start fighting with a complete stranger. It makes no sense. And of course, it's not gonna solve anything. It's not gonna make this situation better. All it is is an immediate gratification. It's someone who is angry looking for a fight and there's no purpose to that and it's really important i think this book if you read through it with a, an eye to our current situation in 2020 and all the political discord that's happening on social media and just how bad twitter and instagram and facebook are for actual proper communication between people even youtube which can be fantastic because a lot of it can be long form comment content many many people just make videos that are only a couple minutes long they regurgitate things they heard they vomit out information there's no fact checking people are just not researching and it just devolves into like these huge arguments and so understanding human psychology understanding especially for ourselves i think the most important thing i got from this book is just reflecting back on my own life as a man and thinking back to all the times in my own personal life that i've been in scenarios with other men or women where I've, I've pursued things that I shouldn't pursued or didn't respect the know of a person uh, or you know having been a manager in multiple stores I think back about scenarios where I had employees who were extremely aggressive who made threats who didn't uh, obey the rules who always thought that everyone was against them and those scenarios luckily never turned into violent altercations but i think back on them now and i'm like i did not handle those scenarios well there's many things that i allowed to pass that i should never have allowed to pass there are many things that i said back i should never have said back uh, there's many times that i should have just fired someone on the spot or at least fired them much more quickly and i allowed them too much leeway because we always either kind of shy away from these things or we just you know we don't want to deal with them or we're afraid which is understandable and uh, you know that's why this book is called the gift of fear it's the understanding that fear if respected if listened to if intuited properly can be an extremely useful gift and we all have this gift as humans and we need to understand it better and i think anyone in their day-to-day -day life in the work environment whether you're an employee employer uh in your interactions with your friends with your family members with potential partners with your your husbands and wives uh, and obviously online which is even more complex the, just this kind of information is super super important because we all need to take responsibility men we need to take responsibility for a lot of the violence that we bring into the world women also need to take responsibility for the violence that they bring into the world we all need to take responsibility as men and women for the things that we say, for the things that we do, for the things we allow people to get away with, uh, for the fact that we never ever actually train ourselves and learn to communicate well, to deal with scenarios in the proper fashion, we, we allow these, these problems to amplify. And when we don't take care of them on an individual level, this goes towards the community, and then the society, and then the country, the, the, the continent, the whole world. And we see, we see this up the ladder, you know, political freaking diplomats who still can't communicate properly because we're all not properly trained on this. And we don't understand how to listen to our intuition, how to properly just communicate and not make such uh, situations worse. And, uh, you know, as someone who's more and more I'm getting online you know i've always kind of been online my whole life but now especially you know making youtube videos and i'm playing way more games <laughs> and just trying to share this information i think it's something super important for for myself and i think it's something other people need to read and understand so i would definitely recommend everyone get this book it's super cheap online i think you can get it for like two three bucks it's quite an old book what was this written uh, this was written in why does it not say? 1997, actually a very old book. I wonder if Gavin DeBecker is even still alive. I'm gonna check it out. I'm sure there's tons of videos on YouTube also from Gavin DeBecker. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot you can find out online, but I would definitely read the book. And the fact that it's from 1997 and yet I can make so much 
just like transition it over to how the online life is and all these things that I see just goes to show you how timeless most of this kind of information is. Human psychology does not change that much. And the internet, gaming, social media, online communication, streaming on Twitch, all those kinds of things, they are so new to the human psyche just like it's pretty damn new for us to be surrounded by like millions of strangers all the time. This is a lot of stress on us and many of us, even the most innocent and harmless people who would never do violence because we're just, we're in scenarios that are so unnatural for the human psyche that we react really badly. And you know, a bad day, some bad sleep, uh, not enough food, being hangry can really cause some people to do some irreparable damage to their relationships and their work environment. And you'd be surprised, everyone kind of calls uh, people who do violent things, even the most heinous, like violent things, are rape and mass murder and stuff. They, they, they like they act as though these these people are special creatures that come out of nowhere. No, it's just human nature. We all have the capacity for intense, intense violence. No matter how much you think you're a pacifist and this that, it is in our biology. We have the capacity to harm other people, whether verbally, whether physically whether with weapons, in multitudes of ways. And it is really important that we take responsibility for that and also just protect ourselves. Protect ourselves from ourselves and protect, our, protect other people from ourselves and also make sure that we're protecting ourselves from everybody else. You know, that doesn't mean you have to live your life paranoid out of your mind, but it's about, it's about the, the difference between being trained and untrained, you know. You take a, you go to a, use a gun. You want to make sure that you have as much training as possible, so you don't harm yourself with that gun. Uh, you want to, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to get a gun, you should be seeing a therapist. At least have done some kind of therapy to make sure that you're in a safe place in your mind to have ownership of a weapon. I mean, there's all these sorts of things. So, I think that for anyone who is looking to have some kind of online presence, and when I say online presence, I don't mean you have to be a, a YouTuber or something. If you're someone who plays a ton of games online and you're interacting with people and you just get caught up in these yelling wars or chatting wars with people uh you should probably read this book you really should uh and i again i would just reiterate to any ladies who are watching this i would hyper hyper uh recommend reading this book because i think it is a brilliant read for women to just get to know the things that could help save them on a lot of these really messed up scenarios i know men can be pretty brutal bastards. This is obviously, uh, you know, men have to take responsibility for that. We need to speak about it amongst ourselves. But at the same time, I think it's really important for women to, to, to just accept the fact that there's no utopia land. There's no like perfect world. You have to learn how to defend yourself. You have to learn to be cautionary. You have to learn how to listen to your intuition. And you, at the same time, you also have to learn to just not put yourself in scenarios. I mean, I will never victim blame a woman for when anything bad is. Same thing, I would never victim blame a man if anything bad happens to him. But we all need to, to also take responsibility to like be aware of our surroundings and our environment and understand how things are and not put ourselves in scenarios where we can get screwed over hardcore. Uh, so super important, recommend it. I will, uh, you know, be looking online actually because I, I really think there's probably tons of videos uh, by him also so i'd recommend that if you uh like what you heard like subscribe comment down below let me know what you think let me know anything else any other good recommend recommendations of books or other people who are great speakers on this kind of stuff because i really want to delve into it a little bit and uh, check out the website geeseandbarbells.com and have yourselves a fun week folks <laughs>